Bas Edilat from Solidarity Campaign Against Intervention in Iraq, a long standing partner of Stop the War Coalition. Thank you. Uh, I'm from the Campaign Against Sanctions and Military Intervention in Iran. So it's been widely known in the international anti war movement in the past 12 years or so that the so called war on terror has got the ultimate aim of a war against Iran for the regime change in this country and to restore a puppet regime as the, the Shah's regime was uh, over 30 years ago for, the, for safeguarding the vital oil and strategic interests of the imperialists in the region. And all these nonsense about uh, a nuclear armed uh, program in Iran, nonsense about uh, human rights violations in Iran with the double standard that the West has in terms of Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, and so on. This is all trying to gear support in the international community for some sort of military attack for the regime change. When Obama came first to power, he raised some illusions that maybe he's going to have some engagement with Iran. But soon, this proved to be just, just an illusion. It's very interesting that last summer, in the run-up to the imposition of these draconian sanctions, economic sanctions against Iran, a group of Iranian dissidents in D.C. organized a meeting and invited a few officials of the Obama administration. And the Iranian dissidents who were against sanctions, they appealed to the Obama administration not to impose these economic sanctions because they would hurt Iranian people and instead target the Iranian regime for its violations of human rights. And to their credit, the officials of the Obama administration gave a very honest answer. They said, we are not interested in the issue of human rights in Iran. We are interested only in three issues that we are focusing on. Iran's nuclear program, the security of Israel, and avenues for regime change. This was explicitly said in this meeting, and it went on on the website of these dissidents. So we all knew, of course, that uh, this is about regime change. So the last point was very clear. We all know that the United States is a staunch supporter of its proxy Israel, an expansionist regime in the, in the region. We all knew that. We all also knew that the uh, issue of Iran's nuclear program is just a pretext, as the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq was a pretext for a regime change. Uh, they have just changed Iran to Iraq and WMD to uh, Iran's nuclear armed program, which does not exist. And the IAEA, the International Atomic Energy Agency, has confirmed in every single report in it uh, in its 10 years of uh, scrutinizing Iran, Iran's nuclear program, that there is no evidence for diversion uh, uh, into a military uh, weapons program in Iran. So we all knew that. But what was surprising is that the Obama administration officials said that we are not interested in the issue of, uh, of human rights. Previous to that, of course, even the Obama administration had used the pretext of violations of human rights in Iran to impose sanctions targeting commanders of the Nobushi Gas, for example. So why the change? Why the change that Officially, they are, they are saying in a meeting, a public meeting in a sense, that they are not interested in human rights. The story is this, I think, that those tiny minority of people in Iran who supported Western strategy in Iran, or the regime to not, even these people cannot accept the draconian economic sanctions against their country. Because it's hurting people, it's uh, killing cancer patients, other patients, all across uh, in Iran. And therefore, the issue that uh, the United States is interested in human rights is untenable because the grossest violation of human rights in Iran now is the fact that the West, by imposition of these draconian sanctions, is denying Iranian people, a whole nation, medical supplies and food stuff. People are dying because of this, and we know what happened in Iraq in the course of 13 years of sanctions. Uh, only, only half a million Iranian, uh, Iraqi children died. Therefore, what, what is happening is that the hawkish policy of the, the Western uh, government against Iran is ironically turning even those who were in favor of uh, a Western uh, intervention in Iraq, they are even turning these people against uh, the West. So what is emerging is that 
Iranian people are becoming more and more united against sanctions and military intervention by the, by, by the Western governments. So we have actually um, an anti-war activist in, in Iran who sent me this message uh, only, on, only on Thursday that I would like to read for you, which are, because I think it's, it's quite enlightening. It says that the Iranian people are paying a high price for their right to national independence, but they, but they are supporting each other through these difficult times. What the West is denying them in terms of medicine and food, they are giving to each other in the form of economic, emotional, and moral support. They know that their country is faced with a historical turn, and they must remain steadfast. So what the West is doing in Iran in terms of encircling the country militarily, threatening it with, 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 with military attack, uh, imposing draconian economic sanctions has turned even the supporters of the uh, Western stance against the West. And people are becoming increasingly more united against the West. Thank you very much.